in both the United Kingdom and Ireland, a quasi-autonomous non-governmental organization is an organization to which a government has devolved power. In the United Kingdom this term covers different arms-length government bodies, including non-departmental public bodies, non-ministerial departments, and executive agencies. The Forestry Commission, which is a non-ministerial government department responsible for forestry in England and Scotland, is an example of a quango. History the term quasi-autonomous non-governmental organization was created in 1967 by the Carnegie Foundation's Alan Piaffer in an essay on independence and accountability in public funded bodies incorporated in the private sector. This term was shortened to quango by Anthony Barker, a British participant during a follow-up conference on the subject. It describes an ostensibly non-governmental organization performing governmental functions often in receipt of funding or other support from government, while mainstream NGOs mostly get their donations or funds from the public and other organizations that support their cause. Numerous quangos were created from the 1980s onwards. Examples in the United Kingdom include those engaged in the regulation of various commercial and service sectors, such as the Water Services Regulation Authority. An essential feature of a quango in the original definition was that it should not be a formal part of the state structure. The term was then extended to apply to a range of organizations, such as executive agencies providing health, education and other services. Particularly in the UK, this occurred in a polemical atmosphere in which it was alleged that proliferation of such bodies was undesirable and should be reversed. This spawned the related acronym QUALO a quasi-autonomous local government organization. The less contentious term non-departmental public body is often employed to identify numerous organizations with devolved governmental responsibilities. The UK government's definition in 1997 of a non-departmental public body or quango was a body which is a role in the processes of national government, but is not a government department or part of one, and which accordingly operates to a greater or lesser extent at arm's length from ministers. Use. Equals United Kingdom equals, the Cabinet Office 2009 report on non-departmental public bodies found that there are 766 NDPBs sponsored by the UK government. The number has been falling, there were 790 in 2008 and 827 in 2007. The number of NDPBs has fallen by over 10% since 1997. Staffing and expenditure of NDPBs have increased. They employed 111,000 people in 2009 and spent a £46.5 billion, of which a £38.4 billion was directly funded by the government. Since the coalition government of Conservatives and Liberal Democrats was formed in May 2010, Numerous NDPBs have been abolished under Conservative plans to reduce the overall budget deficit by reducing the size of the public sector. As of the end of July 2010, the government had abolished at least 80 NDPBs and warned many others that they faced mergers or deep cuts. In September 2010, The Telegraph published a leaked Cabinet Office list suggesting that a further 94 could be abolished, while four would be privatized and 129 merged. In August 2012, Cabinet Office Minister Francis Maud said the government was on course to abolish 204 public bodies by 2015, and said this would create a net saving of at least a £2.6 billion. Equals Ireland equals, in 2006 there were more than 800 quangos in Ireland, 482 at national and 350 at local level with a total of 5,784 individual appointees and a combined annual budget of a 13 billion. Criticisms, The Times has accused quangos of bureaucratic waste and excess. In 2005, Dan Lewis, author of The Essential Guide to Quangos, claimed that the UK had 529 quangos, many of which were useless and duplicated the work of others. In popular culture, Quangos were mentioned in several episodes of the popular British sitcom Yes, Minister. In particular, the chairmanship of a quango played a central role in the episode Jobs for the Boys from the first series of the sitcom. Mr. Robinson's Quango is a song on the Blur album The Great Escape which satirizes the life of a chairman. 
a February 2015 article at the satiric website Donegal Dollop claims that the Irish Language Preservation Agency Ashtera Esna Gaia Terta has changed its name to Ashtera Esna Quanga Cubed in recognition of the trend. See also, Penelope Lee Telton, Viscountess Cobham Euro Quango Queen, Departments of the United Kingdom Government, GONGO, Government Agency, of Budget Enterprise, Scottish Public Bodies. References External links, Read Before Burning, Arms Length Government for a New Administration A Euro Report by the Institute for Government about the Quango Landscape, Civil Service A Euro Government Departments and Accredited NDPBs, Economic Research Council A Euro Online Database of All UK Quangos 1998 A Euro 2006, The Sunday Times article on Quangos A Euro September 2006, Richard Allen and Imita Raid. Managing and Controlling Extra Budgetary Funds, OECD Journal of Budgeting, Volume 6, No. 4, 2006, Carson Griff, Matthew Flinders, Sandra Van Thiel, Quangos a Euro, What's in a Name? Defining Quangos from a Comparative Perspective, Governance 12, 129 a Euro 146 DOI 10.1111 slash 0952-1895.9519990095, UK Government site about the process of making public appointments, Quango name source of ridicule, files from 1980 show.